Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Headline Amp Fungicide and Pride Seed. Tobin here on the Corn School today near West Elgin, Ontario, joined by an Omafra plant pathologist, Albert Tenuta. Albert, how's it going? Excellent. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, sir. Uh, soybeans are off. They are. We're about to get into corn, and uh, I want to talk corn disease. Absolutely. Martin Chilvers, um, Michigan State University, one of your counterparts, yeah. counterparts, pathologist friends, um, was at SWAC last year, talked about tar spot. Uh, a nasty disease made its way through Illinois, Iowa, into Michigan State. We've got an eye on it here in Ontario. Uh, absolutely. What's happening? Have you seen it? No, we have not seen it. So we've done our OMAFRA surveys this year with Agriculture Agri-Food Canada. We've got a lot of industry and grower awareness as well around tar spot, partly from Martin and our presentation at SWAC, but also there's been a lot of media attention around uh, tar spot in, in the U.S. as well as into Ontario and that. And, and regardless of whether it's uh, us looking or growers industry, we've not detected tar spot here as of yet in Ontario. It is close though. Yeah. It is as close as it's ever been. It's up to the border of Michigan and Ontario now in two or three counties in, on the Michigan side. So eventually it will make its way across mm. over into Ontario. Talk about, um, you know, impact. Martin at the time talked about, you know, 40, 50 bushels. Um, give us a description. What does it look like? What, what, what would we be looking for? Well, you know, the name itself. So us pathologists like to describe diseases so we can remember them, right? So tar spot, very similar. You know, as the name implies, what you end up seeing are these black tar-like uh, structures, fruiting bodies on the leaves. Um, they are not open. They are not like what we see with common rust lesions that are open or break open the surface of the leaf. In this case, they are flat, raised up, um, almost like a, a volcano type uh, structure on, on those leaves. So Albert, let's talk about impact. What can happen here? I mean, Martin talked about potentially 40, 50 bushels on, on a loss here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when Marty was talking at SWAC last year, yeah, you know, we came out of 2018 with incredible tar spot symptoms and injury all through the Midwest US and into Michigan. And so those yield losses of 20, 30, 40 uh, bushels were quite significant and uh, or, or greater in, in the Midwest. Um, so it can take a substantial yield hit. Um, prior to that, we had not seen that. We had seen very little impact on yield um, to that, but in 2018, it all changed. In this past year, we've seen an increase again in the spread of tar spot, but the level of injury and uh, symptoms and more than likely the economic impact will be reduced compared to last year. Again, it shows the difference between environment and year variability has a significant impact on many of these diseases. But tar spot is here to stay. Unfortunately, it's going to become an economically important pathogen that we need to be aware of. Let's talk about identification, because as you say, you haven't seen it in Ontario yet, but you've been getting calls oh, yeah. and it's very important to distinguish Tire spot from something else people are oh, yeah. spotting. Oh yeah, so we're getting lots of calls. They're still getting, you know, as we're probably talking, my phone is buzzing right in here. And, and the big one is, you know, we're getting lots of pictures, we're getting lots of calls, leaves brought into my office at Ridgetown and that, and it's not tire spot. It's common rust that we're seeing. And common rust is, is one that is, as the name implies, is very common in Ontario. Uh, it really starts to show up on susceptible hybrids, but late in the season. Once the plants start to shut down, we see a lot more rust starting to show up. And one of the big questions around why does it look like tar spot or why is there so much confusion is that as you get these older rust pustules or lesions, they open up. And in there, where you used to have, say, rusty spores, right. now they're black. And they look exactly like tar spot, except though with tar spot, you have that tar spot fruiting body with no openings, no breakage on the leaf surface in that. If you see any opening, any breaking in that, um, then, then you're looking at a common rust. Hopefully we won't see too much of it. No. And as you say, it will probably get here, but uh, for now, uh, we'll uh, we'll keep it at bay. Thank you for stopping by. Always great to have you on the, uh, on the course. I always appreciate it, the opportunity. Thanks, my friend.